Hello faithful viewers and welcome back to another Transformers review. This time we're looking at the Transformers Rise of the Beasts mainline Wheeljack aka Pablo because that's what everybody on the internet likes to call him. But Wheeljack here turns into a Volkswagen minibus and it's a very interesting uh, vehicle mode. It's an unlicensed approximation so it's not actually the legit thing. Whether he'll eventually get a studio series uh, version and a licensed version I don't actually know. Nothing has been announced yet as I know. Uh, but this is a very cute and compact vehicle mode as it is. He retains the colours that he does in the film of the white and the brown Brown. He has TV Pablo on the side there and on the side there. He has blue translucent windows so you can kind of see uh, inside. I think this entire top piece here is actually made out of clear plastic but it's just been painted over. He has some nice detail on the front, uh, some nice silver grill work, some blue lights and a nice red Autobot symbol on there. And uh, flipping to be on the side, it does a good job of hiding what becomes what here. His head is visible and you can make out his arms, but his legs are very nicely hidden. So kudos to him for that. Nice rear detailing for the back of the van there. And overall, it's just a very nice vehicle mode. He rolls beautifully. No problem there at all. A real jack here comes with a black rifle i suppose it is i think it's just a bit too big to be a pistol so it's uh, a rifle i don't think he even had this in the film from my memory it's an arm cannon he sports but uh, it's interesting it has some uh, good detail on it for what it is but it is a little bit basic it can attach to the front of the cab there it is a very loose fit though i think that is more born for robot mode anything else alternatively here's a port at the back here and this fits a lot better for vehicle mode and so that looks actually pretty decent we should also just quickly turn our attention to wheeljack's packaging my copy is not part of the buzzworthy bumblebee line uh, this is just the mainline version um, with the standard packaging so you can see wheeljack in his glory on the front there it says wheeljack right there turn it to the side there is again it says deluxe class in various languages turn it to the back 23 steps of transformation it says wheeljack up there and a load of legal gif gaff goff on the back on the bottom there rather uh, on the side here it says authentic transformer so you know it's not a knockoff transformers rise of the beast on the top there and some more lego majumbo on the bottom so coming on down to transformation now wheeljack is notorious for having a few clearance issues i've kind of found a way to get past it with regards to his head and i'll demonstrate it when we reach that part of the transformation but for now we want to begin by ripping off his rifle there and just discarding it and then where to begin let's start with the legs so we're going to split the, the van right there and we're just going to start wiggling it we're going to come to the underside and just disconnect his braces and just leave them hanging we're going to come to the arms on the sides of the van there and just unclip them and roll them down like that and then we can pan our camera up and we can open his doors like so and just tilt them just slightly. We're going to continue tilting them later when we've got a bit more room. Uh, now we want to finish wiggling the feet out and they just attach snugly underneath the roof, which is quite an interesting way of doing it. He has a very interesting transformation, very good engineering on him. Now with the legs, we want to be taking the back of the van here and we want to be getting these panels back out. We want to be splitting the legs and then rotating these panels and essentially you're popping them reverse ways on the roof of the van and they will become his shins. Take the feet, fold them flat like that and then uncurl the legs and then take these panels here and they should be like that, just fold them in to fill in the backs of the legs. And there's legs all done, surprisingly, very easy. Turning our attention to the top of the figure, we're going to continue to rotate the arms down so they are hanging like that and then we are going to attempt to just wiggle them out like so and as you do flatten the doors so they are like that and then push that backpack backward like that and now we come to the chest. So in vehicle mode 
I have Wheeljack's head situated looking up and I found that this is actually the best way to get his head through this gap because let's be honest as you can see there there is no clearance whatsoever and a lot of other YouTubers have had trouble with just paint scuffing especially the Autobot symbol on the crest of his head but if you have his head looking up the only things that bump into one another are the sides of his goggles to the gap that he has to thread through. By keeping his head up, you are sparing that Autobot symbol on the crest of his head. And I find that that is the most effective way of getting his head through that gap. So if you want to take notes, that's the most valuable note to take. So do that. And we're just going to finish rotating the arms. Just like that, I can straighten his head. Then I'm going to collapse the torso in on itself just to shorten his overall body length. And then another little issue that this figure had was this torso piece connecting into here. It used to be a very loose connection. The way that to fix it, if you've got like stability issues with the figure, is to do with the white tab here. You might need to shave a little bit of it down. Uh, all I ended up doing was taking a file and shaving this side of it ever so slightly. But the, the best way to achieve a solid fit is to really, really push here. Get a lot of force into it like a ridiculous amount of force and hopefully it should stay. And then the final thing we want to be doing is taking his pecs and getting our nails in or approaching them from the sides and just lifting them up so that at angles and then you can feed his braces underneath there and just shut them close. It's not a very good tab to keep him secure but it is what it is. Angle his wings as you feel fit and there you go. That is Wheeljack all done. So turning our attention to Wheeljack's robot mode, I like the design. It's not your classic Wheeljack, sure. And all the controversy stems from the fact that Wheeljack was briefly in the Bumblebee movie and he looks like G1 Wheeljack and that shares continuity with Rise of the Beasts. Get over it, folks. Come on, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, sure, for our continuity purists, it is infuriating. But, you know, at the end of the day, you had in Transformers Armada a Wheeljack that looked like Sideswipe. It's not that big of a deal, really. But this design of Wheeljack is good. It's unique, and I like that. It is very nerdy, and Wheeljack is a very nerdy character. If we have a look at that head sculpt in greater detail, he has big old nerd goggles, which I've heard are removable. But I don't want to test that, to be honest. Uh, I, I don't want to just break him. He's got a nice Autobot symbol on his head. Uh, but again, that can be subject to scuffing because of the clearance issue. But if you have his head tilted up, you won't have that problem. Very nice chest. I appreciate how it's all broken up there. Kind of like a bumblebee sort of thing going on where you can move those pieces up. So it's not all just one static, boring piece. That's good. He has wings on his back, which he does in the film. That's awesome. He has uh, a good backpack overall. Not much in the way of kibble, which is spectacular. Uh, in terms of his hands, yeah, uh, this is a common critique about the figure and I can see why. Only the tops of his hands are painted, the rest of them, the boring brown, orange, bronze kind of thing he's got going on here. Did the budget run out? Who knows? Who cares either? Uh, coming down to the figure, you can see the other remnants of headlights there, which he does have his headlights there in the film. Uh, but to mask that, they've just decided to leave it all unpainted bit disappointing but you know for consistency sake for this figure I suppose it's acceptable and then you've got the back of the van which has now ended up on his shins and yeah just overall he has a very very good profile about him and I'm super happy with how this figure turned out. Wheeljack also sports some nice light piping so let's get our torch in and you can see right there his eyes are shining so brightly Lovely stuff, and it's also complemented by his clear plastic windshield. And again, with his blaster, what you can do is he can hold it in his hands, just like so. That is a very secure fit. And then alternatively, if we try and wiggle that out, he has that port on his back. And if I decide what way round I want my gun, 
now you can push it in now that we've shoved the roof down a bit and it just sits rather securely in there so that's good as well in terms of articulation real jack's head i believe is on a ball joint and he can turn it roughly 360 degrees there we go that's pleasant surprise for you he can turn his head up like that and i recommend that for transformation and then he can also look down ever so slightly but not much in terms of the shoulders you've got 360 degrees of rotation thanks for them being on a ball joint and he can lift his arms up about that far he has a bicep rotation thanks to being on a mushroom peg of 360 degrees he has a 90 degree bend at the elbow and that's kind of it for the arms he does not really have uh, an ab crunch per se but it depends on how stable you've got your figure's torso if you've got that really plugged in as far as it can go and then that locks him in place but you can see here this backpack bit doesn't really want to stay in place or his torso really at the back so he kind of can do an ab crunch if you kind of mistransform him but otherwise he doesn't have a lot going on he has a waist swivel of 360 degrees he can forward kick an impressive amount he can back kick an impressive amount he has a uh, an okay spread but nothing to write home about is a little bit of inward and outward swivel at the hip he has no thigh rotation unfortunately he has a good 90 degree bend thanks to transformation and he has a ball jointed ankle so he's got 360 swivel he's got up and down and he's got rocker overall articulation is very impressive for real jack i am very blown away by this guy turning our attention to size comparisons here is rise of the beasts real jack next to transformers energy on downshift downshift being ever so slightly taller mainly thanks to the shoulder kibble next up is rise of the beasts real jack next to transformers prime robots in disguise wave real jack and they are actually very similar in terms of head height with the rise of the beasts one being ever so slightly taller but your prime real jack just ultimately being the bigger figure again largely in thanks to the shoulders but also with the weapon storage just increasing his overall height now comparing two mainline Rise of the Beasts figures, we've got Wheeljack on the left and we've got Air Razor on the right. Air Razor who never transformed in the film. These two are the standouts of the mainline for me. Um, I know that the mainline Prime is decent, although the studio series is better, but certainly these two I genuinely think are the top two from the main line for rise of the beasts showing him off next to another modern figure here he is with legacy override the modern interpretation of the transformers cybertron character she is a voyager class so she is going to dwarf him but yeah both are excellent figures in their own rights and then of course here he is with marvel legends far from home mysterio who you know they are both deluxe sizes but mysterio is about a head or so taller than wheeljack here to transform Wheeljack back into his vehicle mode, what we want to be doing is first of all unclipping his braces from his torso. So just lift his pec pieces up ever so slightly just so they can detach and you can slap them all the way down just like that. And then you want to disconnect him at the waist like so, leaving these out because these actually want to be the last things that we deal with here. Tilt his head back like that then that is the arguably the best way of actually getting it over uh right so then regarding his backpack you can uh lift it up and it should just tab into place like so uh then extend his torso to get his lower half out of the way and then we can just rotate the shoulders in as best we can come into the door wings and let's just get them back like that rotate the shoulders just rotating them as you to go and just rotating the doors and getting them in like that and then you can finish your rotation of the shoulders and making sure those wheel arches are in place and then coming to the legs we are going to the, the legs are the easily the, the most fun part of this transformation so flip those back panels out like that and then we can bend them at the knees make sure they're tabbed in like that take these panels here rotate them round continuing to bend him at the legs just getting those bits attached to the back there then taking his feet and straightening them like so 
Same thing on the other side here, just continue to bend the leg and then take his knee or his shin rather and just rotate it round onto that side then take his foot and straighten that and then feeding the toes through the bottom just there of the roof is what you want to be doing uh, I'm just attempting to doing it with them uh, not attached but I'm just thinking to myself in my benefit if they are already attached so let's just do that and see if we have a uh, a bit of a smoother transition start by having them having it down like that just to get the feet in part of the problem here is that doors just come loose and there we go now they're slotted in that's good and I'm just retapping the back of it and then finish off here with the arms uh, just making sure that his braces are still kept out and then we're just trying to get them in making sure that they tab in plug the arm in first and then ah, the door last and the door should tab into the wheel arch as well there we go so that's one side done so same on this side if we keep the door open put his arm in bottom tab doesn't want to play ball now we've got it now we've got it there we go like that and then finally just tap the braces into slots that are just above his fists like so re-tab anything else that's come out and that is wheel jack transformed back into his minibus mode and so that has been our look at the mainline wheel jack figure from transformers rise of the beasts i am very impressed with this guy he is so hard to get hold of though considering that in a lot of places he is a buzzworthy bumblebee exclusive and you can only get him in a free pack but that mainline does have a release as we saw with the box so just if you can track him down definitely seek him out because he is worth it he is very fun to play with he's got a very satisfying transformation sure there's the clearance issue but i found a way to get around it all right and yeah he he maybe isn't the most stable of figure in the world but again there is a workaround with that overall i think he's excellent he is by far and away one of the best figures from the rise of the beasts mainline he's probably going to get a studio series figure at some point that blows this guy out of the water but for now until that is officially announced this is wheeljack this is your guy that you're going to have in Rise of the Beasts and definitely get him absolutely he's definitely worth it he's so much fun to play with and he has just great engineering overall despite the little nitpicks here and there he's a very very good figure so that's Wheeljack thank you everybody so much for stopping by and checking out this video like and subscribe if you haven't already and share it around to help out the channel and until the next time see you all later